Welcome to Caymanus Park Replay and Highlights Show, where we show the latest horse racing replays and results. Starter ready, they're off. Coming off slow as whatever. Storming gets a good start with Muscatoon. They share that lead and do battle as Muscatoon now goes on, attacked already by Coralando as they come floating past the six. Muscatoon out in front by three parts of a length. Coralando chasing in second. So Puddington and Storming making ground on the outside. Divine Lexi joining that group, separated by only two and a half to three lengths. They leave the five. Miss Linda Ray in the blue sleeves races up next. One squeeze on the outside of whatever and Trickster at the back. They make their way to the half mile, they're almost there now, about to enter the turn for home. And it is a Muscatoon on the rail on the outside, that is Sir Puddington now with an attack, and Sir Puddington now takes a narrow lead. Muscatoon continues to cut the corner in a ground-saving run, as they're about to arrive at the 3 8 pole. Three and a half lengths back to Divine Lexi, almost joined now by Storming. Coralando is left some seven or eight lengths off that lead, as the field will now come thundering into the lane. It is Sir Puddington who holds the advantage at the top of the stretch. Muscatoon Tune is left two or three lengths back and under the stick in second. Divine Lexi is chasing, storming now, running on the spot, but it is still out in front and traveling strong. Sir Puddington, Muscatoon looks to have given up. Divine Lexi in the green now, moving down into second. Coralando may just get third, but up front it is old Sir Puddington making a mockery of his opposition inside the final 16th. It is Sir Puddington and the apprentice Andre Powell. They win by maybe six over Divine Lexi. Coralando is third. Whatever is fourth. Storming is fifth. Four Divine Lexi, 146. Third two Coralando, 179. Fourth one, whatever. Fifth nine, Storming. The trifecta, 969. They're off and racing. Royal Vibes misses the break prompting the pace on in the middle that is a biblical legend so biblical legend going on and coming out of the shoot zabratone right there along with miribilis right on the outside that's desert the genus sunshine cat comes next then recovering that is royal vice just on his inside that is a purple wing and racing at the back salah they go to on the five furlong point on the course and making the runnings on the inside, Zabrato narrowly from Desert Genus. They pass the five. Then comes on the inside, that's Maribelis, Royal Vibe recovering nicely and going down, fading a bit. That's Biblical Legend behind the Biblical Legend, Sunshine Cat searching for a pathway to behind the Sunshine Cat. That is a purple wing and still racing at the back, marginally now. That's Salad. They have passed the four furlong point, heading toward the three. It is Zabrato and just the leader, Royal vibes cruising down into second coming on on the rail that's Maribelis fading a bit now that's Desert Genus also coming on that is Biblical Legend they're coming at the top of the lane got two furlongs to the money and now Zabratone still in front Maribelis on the outside and Maribelis now goes to Maribelis kicking clear maybe two lengths clear of Zabratone coming on on the outside Biblical Legend Maribelis and Robert Halladine at the furlong pole and they're skittering away and this one looks to be over Maribelis Maybe taking care of business in the second. Maribelis in front. Zabratone holding strong for second. Maribelis in front. Zabratone maybe second. Maribelis beats Zabratone. Then comes uh, Purple Wayne and uh, Biblical Legend. Ready. They're off. Pocket change. Military shot. Chen Sia were the slowest to get off. As they now flash past the six, unwritten law sets the splits, leading up by two lengths over Ring Chama. Sky Zone is on the outside in third, rather having a lot in hand. It is what it is, chases up next in the purple. On the rail, that's letters in gold. Military shot is making ground after the slow start. Just a length in front of another storm. Pocket change toward the back and last of all, it's a Chen Sia. 
a half a mile to run. They go spinning into that turn. Unwritten Law continues to lead, but not so far. Being pressurized by on the outside ring charmer. It is what it is, trying to hunt that run against the rail. Sky Zone is just a further length back. Just about three and a half separates that bunch. Letters in Gold is three more lengths away. And racing in fifth. Behind them, military shot. Another storm. Pocket change now making mile progress. And Chen Sia continues to hold last as ring charmer turns for home with that lead. Unwritten Law, the grey, will attempt the fight back. It is what it is in the purple racing down against the rail. The rider having a look over his shoulder. Sky Zone is in the centre of the track and farther back to Letters in Gold in the red. But it's Ring Charmer inside the final furlong opening up some two or three lengths. Unwritten Law continues the pursuit but it seems to be all in vain. As a Ring Charmer and the wily Dick Cardenas come bouncing in to win by four or more. Maybe five over Unwritten Law. It is what it is Sky Zone and Letters in Gold. In the final one will be Diamond in the Sky and will be ready for a start from Michael Sims. Six and a half furlong. This is the fourth, the start of your early pick five. Ready off and racing. Miss HJF and Flame Carrier. Those are the two that's left behind early as they pass the six furlong point on the rail Diamond in the Sky. Infinity Ace in between horses, out wide Chinese music, and Chinese music has speed. And it's these three as they pass the four. Then comes uh, Whispering Magic racing in fourth, behind Whispering Magic on the rail, that's prime one. Then comes a Little Grovey Thing, Hill is Vision, then Flame Carry attacking onto them, and fading out of it, it's Miss HJF. They come towards the three furlong point on the course and making the running diamond in the sky. Just the leader and now kicking away from on the rail and fading back a bit. That is Infinity Ace. Uh, Chinese Music is racing out wide and maybe he's going to blow the turn as they come to the top of the lane. It is Diamond in the sky in front. Infinity Ace left back on the rail in second. Coming on, that is a whispering magic. But Diamond in the sky not messing around and kicks away about three lengths clear. Still on the rail, it's Infinity Ace. Here comes on the rail also. But coming on, that's whispering magic. Diamond in the sky keeping on. Whispering magic closing stoutly though. Diamond in the sky. Whispering magic. It's gonna get close at the wire. Diamond in the sky just over whispering magic. Then comes a infinity ace and a bang up for the fourth spot five and a half furlongs 1100 meters waiting on Jamal James part of the way in Blindfolds flung out of the back. Field in line. Denzel Miller. They're off. Donald Trog hits the brakes and is way at the back of the field after an awful beginning. But Chief of State leaves the five with that lead. There goes Papa Albert now moving through and Papa Albert will get a narrow lead as they run toward the half mile from Chief of State and uh, Jamal James. Slice to Dune races down near the rail, April Spirit hidden in between horses, smoke screen out three wide. Stormy Lady races next, seven or eight lengths off that lead, a cappella overtaken by General Mubarak. Waltzing Matilda is three and a half lengths back ahead of Reasons, and the slow starting Donald Trog trying to make amends, but way at the back. They've left the 5.16th, they'll come thundering into the lane. Papa Albert matching strides with right there alongside Jamal James. But Papa Albert accelerates, responding to the right-hand stick and quickly slips away by two lengths over Jamal James, continuing the pursuit. Slice Taloon is over on the rail. Right against it, a General Mubarak. April Spirit in the middle with a cappella in the gold and smoke screen in the black cap racing out wide. But it's all Papa Albert inside the final 16th. Papa Albert skittering away from them on the Philip Arch wins by seven close between Jamal James a cappella also close between slice saloon smoke screen and general Mubarak thousand four eighty nine each 37 lucky winners of the triple five thousand eight eighty three 
The splits are 23.4 by 48. They raced 1,100 metres in 108.4 and the margins 9 and a quarter by a short head. Start holding them. Ready for a start, off and racing. Then Belive does everything wrong and is left way at the back. Black River comes off very smartly on the inside of Black River. That's Balagree. So Balagree is passing the sixth in front of uh, tugging hard on the inside. That's Awesome Glitter. So Awesome Glitter, just a leader from Balagree. Tucked neatly in between horses and trying to go in between horses. That is yet again behind yet again. That is in the blood as they come to the four furlong point on the course, recovering Black River. Also coming on that Eken Dance, Colors and Sumiedo, and uh, Mansur Musa behind Mansur Musa. That is a Berry Boy, and racing at the back, it's Dembi Life. Coming toward the three furlong point, and Balagree makes intention clear and uh, kicks away by two lengths. Awesome Glitter, ridden to stay in touch. Dembi Life. Looks like that's uh, yet, again. yet again, rather, recovering and looks a threat. But Balagree in front of Awesome Glitter. Balagree skipping away from them. Dick Cardenas looking for two and also two for the connection. The trainer and jockey connection. Balagree in front. Here comes Black River coming home fast. But Balagree tying up a bit. A furlong to go. Balagree in front. Black River coming on the outside. He can dance. Balagree in front. He can dance. And Black River closing. Balagree still hanging on. To the line, they're coming up to the line. Balagree might just hang on. Balagree beats Black River. He can dance. It's very tight between El Gringo and Awesome Glitter. to gate number seven and the final one will be black royalty and we'll be ready ready for a start five furlong straight that's the distance black royalty looks to be in and they're off and racing free addy gets a good break on the on the far side right under the stand fence that's black royalty racing prominent that's rid him up Right there to Miss Cookie showing dash. So Miss Cookie, rid him up. This is where the race lies at the moment as they come toward the three furlong point. Miss Cookie, rid him up. Could be rid him up the leader just from Miss Cookie. Right under the rail, that is Black Royalty. Right behind those, that is a Star Lee, but it is Miss Cookie and rid him up. Miss Cookie, just the leader. Rid him up, trying to put a challenge to Miss Cookie. Miss Cookie traveling nicely though at the two furlong point. Miss Cookie in front with a clear lead. Rid him up, driven for all his worth in the second. Miss Cookie coasting home on that lead. Black Royalty coming forward under the fence. Miss Cookie looks to have stolen this one. Miss Cookie has flown the coop and begins to pull away. The battle is clearly on for second. Miss Cookie coasting in for easy win. Rid him up and uh, Black Royalty looks to be second. Rid him up is third. Golden Emperor fourth. And we wait on Sen City. Billy Wiz, the mount of Dick Cardenas, who already has a double. Sen City is in. Field in line the Royal Dad Trophy, 1,820 meters. They're off for the Royal Dad Trophy. Yanza Lynx gets a good start with my time now. Billy Wiz is ridden to get close to the leaders. Tomahawk on the outside also ridden along as they go into that clubhouse turn and Billy Wiz will set the fractions and quickly opens up some two or more lengths over high diplomacy. Tomahawk races on the outside of Yanza Lynx. Santorini looking for a berth in between them. Sen City is further back seven lengths off that lead. A break to Sir John and my time now at the back. They've left the seven, they take to the back stretch, and Billy Wiz continues to set the fractions on the rust snug hold, leading up by two lengths. High diplomacy, the closest pursuer in second. Tomahawk moving down on the outside, Santorini now thrusting in between horses on the rail, that's Ianza Lynx in the red. Three lengths in behind them to Sen City, 
A break back to Sir John, and my time now closing in on Sir John. These two share last as the leaders will flash past the five and make their way to the half mile in the Royal Dad. Billy is content on that lead and leads up by some three lengths. Santorini now asked to close the gap as they swing past the half mile. High diplomacy. Now the early speed begins to take its toll. There goes Ianza Link switched to the outside. Sen City now making a brave run. Tomahawk toward the back. A gap to Sir John. And my time now has never been in it. Billy Wiz intends to go all the way. Leaves the 5.16th with a clear lead. Santorini now beginning the chase at the top of the lane. And it is a Billy Wiz out in front. Dick Cardenas looking for his third win. Will he get it? Santorini asked to cut into the lead. Sen City has made progress and improved into third. Anza Lynx is running on the spot in fourth. But it is a Billy Wiz with a brave run. Inside the final furlong. Having a quick look over his shoulder at that. As they make the way inside the final 16th, that's Dick Cardenas. The wily Dick Cardenas will have a triple. Billy Wiz wins the Royal Dad by five over Santorini, then Sen City and Ian Zalinx. In Dawkins. Seated. Once again, we're ready. They're off for the Vassal Niger. Loose Paul came off at the back with Atlantic Blue and Uncle Vernon as they charge past the five and formal gladiator outspeeds them to get that lead. Juke is racing out wide of horses as they make their way toward the half mile. Formal gladiator leading up from a primal fair and a duke. Toward the outside, racing out three wide, La 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 Bamba. Loose ball is two lengths in behind them. Five lengths separates that bunch. Drummer Boy now begins to make ground with Rassi Manuel. He splits those horses. Nevada is the one on the rail and a prime. We have fallers in the event. We have fallers in the event. So drama as they left the three and the leaders will come into the lane. It is former gladiator. Duke now pressing home a charge in between horses. La 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 Bamba out wide. Rassi Manuel is over on the rail. Loose ball in the blue and black trying to make ground but Duke has now hit the front. On the run to the furlong pole. It's the favorite Duke beginning to open up a bit. Inside by the final 16th. It is Duke and Robert Halladine. They're coming away from the field. Gare Sobrati and Halladine will take a double as they win. The Vassal Jolly Man Niger Memorial Trophy over loose ball. La 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 Bamba Ras Emmanuel could be drummer boy fifth. Right away, as expected, there is a George inquiry looking at the fall of the riders. One thousand meters straight. This is the tenth and final. They're off. Fair start. Adore brilliance gets a good start. The speedy Basilicus is also running fast and may already have shot to the lead as they have covered the first furlong. Basilicus tacking over toward the center as they sort themselves out. Chai Tu Prince has attacked over. Princess Skyra is also moving more toward the center and now beginning to angle back toward the stands as they have less than three furlongs remaining. Catch Basilicus if you can, holding on to that lead. Princess Skyra trying to do it. Chai Tu Prince continues to drift toward the center of the racetrack. These are the main contenders as they're in the final quarter and Basilicus now drifts to the stand fence. Over on the far side, Princess Skyra now trying to get to those leaders. Chai Tu Prince is right there too on the spot. Stevie the Great beginning 
beginning to run on late, but it's Basilicus under the stands from Princess Kyra and Stevie the Great. He's going at it. Here is Adore Brilliance now coming with a rush on the far side. Stevie the Great possibly just wins it over Adore Brilliance. Then Basilicus fading. Dee's choice goes by in a photo with Princess Kyra.